Hola, estudiantes. Talking here about accentuation or stress rules on words. Like the word, and even it's, it's, it's similar to English, actually. Um, like, for instance, like the word kitchen. You say kitchen. You don't say kitchen. I'm going to the kitchen. No, it's kitchen. That means that the, the syllable ki has what's called the stress, the stress of the word. Um, or like encyclopedia, the, the syllable P is, has the stress of the word, encyclopedia. You don't say encyclopedia, okay? Every word has a stress on a certain syllable for to make it sound right. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to translate these rules, okay? This says la regla numero uno, rule number one. So what you will do is, uh, if I can get the thing to point it out here, it's not showing up over here, uh, but uh, you are going to translate this. Cuando una palabra termina en una vocal o n o s, la penúltima sílaba toma el acento, el acento tónico. What does this rule mean in English? You're going to type it on a Google Doc, and you're going to, like I said, you're going to write it out in English, um, not Google Translate. Okay, try to figure it out without using Google Translate, SpanishDict.com. Uh, let me see if I can get the pointer here, mouse pointer, high cursor, okay. So once again, that's that, uh, ooh, mouse pointer, there we go, focus mouse. Okay, so here you have first, la regla numero uno. And then you can look at the exam. These are just examples. You don't have to write anything there. And then you'll write la regla numero dos, rule number two. And then you write in English what this means. Okay, cuando una palabra termina en cualquier consonante, la última sílaba toma el acento tónico, excepto para N o S. And then you'll look at the examples. And then you got la regla numero tres, same thing. You're going to translate this sentence. Cuando la palabra tiene un acento escrito, esa sílaba siempre toma el acento. And then you will look at the examples here. And then... Uh, one last translation is where you see these asterisks. Just this sentence, el español, it's a long sentence. El español tiene 14 diptongos. Muchos se usan con frecuencia. Un diptongo es cualquier combinación monosilábica de una vocal cerrada, I or you, e -O -U, con una vocal abierta, A, E, O. And then you don't have to translate uh, these A, B and C. I would still like if you can read them over and look at the act, the examples, but those ones you don't have to, to translate. So just to reiterate, it's three, well, not three sentences because this one has two sentences, but you translate this rule number one, rule number two, rule number three, and then about the diphthongs, diphthongos, this where you see these asterisk, this El Español up to A-E-O. You'll put that on a Google Doc, and then you will send it to me. After I get those, I'll explain what you have to do here. I will probably end up just making a Google Doc for what you're going to do with these words. But I have to, we'll have to go over it first. Okay? So do the this sentences first that I just explained. The end. Let me know if you have questions.